And Lindsay, tell me Lindsay's title. Lindsay is our project manager of Royal Scottish Pipe Band Association Northern Ireland branch. Okay. So she's really the worker. She's the worker. So, <laughs> just, so you're the one. You're going to relax tonight, Lindsay. I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm the one on the ground today. Okay. Well, you don't have an Irish accent or a Scottish accent. No, I'm from Canada. I, I married uh, a man from Northern Ireland, and I have been living here for ten years. Ten years in Northern Ireland. And uh, did you ever play in a band or did you have any associations before? I never played in a band, but I used to be a Highland dancer and I now have uh, hung out my dancing shoes and I teach. Ah, okay, so is that how you met your husband? Yes, it is. I met him in Dunoon. He's a piper, so it is. And who does he pipe with? He plays with the Field Marshal Montgomery. Whoa, so they are the band to watch today, so you're definitely rooting for them then, yes? <laughs> well... Uh, with my RSPBA and I had on, I'm hoping that everybody does well today. <laughs> of course, that's a very, very, diplomatic. very <laughs> diplomatic answer, yes indeed. And hello to all our so, viewers uh, in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yes indeed, I'm sure there are some uh, viewers in Canada out there. I think we've got, we've, we've viewers apparently from all over the world. In fact, they were saying earlier that some of the, so many people have logged on that the servers are starting to collapse. Right. So that's good, it's but it's bad. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure... Uh, exactly what they're going to say at the minute but we, knew, we knew it was going to be a popular thing but we didn't we weren't quite sure you know how popular and uh, it's excellent but we didn't anticipate that it would be this popular so we're really pleased about that but you know unfortunate that some people are having trouble logging on but I think they're working on that yeah. at the minute yeah yeah they are and I mean it's a wonderful day here I see the crowd getting all ready for the grade one competition see just behind you there David um, this is where the arena is and uh, quite a crowd gathering there at the minute Getting set up, that'll the, begin in a few minutes, won't I it? I think the main thing that we're trying to say, you know, and, and Lindsay Weiss would jest about it, um, the popularity of what we do now is increasing year on year, and we have more participants getting involved with band and dancing and yeah. drum majoring, and more and more people are beginning to come along and view what is on offer. This is a huge cultural tourism product, yeah. uh, and one that just doesn't rest with Northern Ireland or Scotland. Yeah. You know, in two weeks' time in Glasgow, uh, 200 plus bands will converge in Glasgow for the World Championship so this is a worldwide body of people so it's, it's a pity that some people won't be able to log on this afternoon but this is a good starting point for us as a new project of how we can interact with bands around the world who are unable to be here and that participation level can be enjoyed at home as well. Absolutely. Well, tell me this. If someone was here today, uh, you know, spectating for the first time, say they'd never, they didn't know anything about pipe bands, they didn't, you know, didn't play, nobody in their family played, and they just thought, this is something I would like to do or get my children maybe involved in, well, how would they go about getting involved in that? Well, they can get involved through their branch via the likes of the Pipe and Drumming School, uh, through that winter programme and various centres which... Um, do they have a website? They do have, which I can't remember, but Lindsay's going to help me. Well, you can find out the information on our, our own website, and it's www.rspbani.org. And um, you can always send an email and, you know, ask the question, and we can certainly point you in the, in the right direction. Okay, and what about the Ulster Scots Agency? Would they provide any tuition anywhere? They would provide funding for tuition. Uh, they have supported us here on the fringe elements of what we do, things like the Highland Dancing Competition and that. But they also support individual groups on the ground as well, at, at tuition based through, through a 20 week programme. So they're, they're heavily involved uh, in the de building and the development of skill base at ground level. Okay, and drum majoring then as well, that comes under that? Uh, it's, it probably does, you know, we follow, in fairness we're probably more pipers and drummers that follow that side of things. Uh, so we'll have to probably grab a drum major to tell us how how they get involved, but I'm sure there's drum major classes throughout Northern Ireland. There are drum major classes throughout Northern Ireland and um, at the minute they're on an individual basis so they're not run through the branch but we are working on that because we actually in Northern Ireland have the strongest drum major field in the world so we're very proud of that. Yeah, I did hear that, several people have said that today to me as well. Um, I'm just keeping a wee eye on the arena down here behind you David, I know you can't see it yet. Um, no, no band just quite ready yet, but uh, certainly lots of people. I, would, I, I wouldn't like to estimate how many people are down there right now. But I think maybe if the camera wants to pan around and sort of see um, the crowds, the arena, the judges are down there getting ready. You can see, and you need to go, David. Well, all the best. You come back and... Hello, George. Hello, there. 
Totally. Nice to see you this afternoon. You're very welcome to join us. And uh, do you want to maybe just turn your chair around a wee bit for sure. the camera? Sure. Uh, or swap seats with me, actually. Would that be possible? <laughs> That's better, and then they can see your lovely face <laughs> instead of mine. <laughs> so, George, you're something of a, an aficionado. Um, well, I hopeful, hopefully, yes. <laughs> um, and I, I, I hope that we, um, you know, hear a lot of nice performances today. Uh, the weather's perfect for it, and uh, and you know, fingers crossed that uh, we don't have what we had last year. I think. Uh, it was a beautiful day and, and then the rain ha appeared and, yeah. and all this. I think it's gone the other way around today. It was cloudy all morning but the sun's yeah. coming out right now, you know. And uh, there's still, is that the Grade 2 arena we can see in the background over there? Just it is, yes. It's a Grade 2 uh -huh. yeah. competition is still going on. And uh, I think I don't know if the camera can see the drum majoring. It's, it's right over at the far side of the field. Um, and Grade 1, are we almost ready to start? I think so there's a, a band lining up soon. Um, it's St. Lawrence O'Toole. from Dublin. Current European and world champions. Okay. Current European and world champions. Yeah, okay. So I think there's going to be a bit of competition then today because uh, a certain other band, I think, want to steal the title back. Would that be right? Yes. Very stiff competition. And, and today is actually a day where, for the grade ones, the, the qualifiers are are determined for the world championships so the results will determine if you have pre-qualified or if you have to play in the morning qualifier okay well i think if the viewers behind can hear just the announcements being made behind that the first band are coming on and we have st lawrence O'Toole. that's a shot of the crowd you can see there and st lawrence O'Toole band will be first on to play you can see the adjudicators there getting ready to receive the band into the arena. And it's a beautiful day here, a bit windy. As you can see up here, plenty of plenty of breeze to keep everyone cool in the nice sunshine. And I think we're all ready for band number one. So George, can you tell us anything about this first band just before they start? Uh, um, they're a very, very, very good band. Uh, they've been at the top now for the last, you know, two or three years, and uh, it's it's been a, a, a three-way um, run with uh, Phil Marshall Montgomery and, and uh, the um, Simon Fraser band from from Canada, and uh, you know it's. Uh, They've taken quite a few years to get up where they are, but um, now they're, they're, they're hard to knock off their spot, so it's, it, this is going to be a very, very good competition today. Yeah. Just if we have a look at our screen there, we can see when they're going to be assembling them. Coming out of the tuning arena. How many bands would be out there tuning up in one go? Yeah, there's 11 today. Yeah. 11? 11 yeah. And will they all, they'll all be trying to tune up to get together I mean at the same uh, in the same area well th no they're spread out over the so they can hear each other that. yes uh -huh. um, <clears throat> they all need to get their own space yeah. uh, and then there'll be a final tuning area which every band comes into okay. uh, to do their, their final preparation and, uh, and then enter the arena itself okay. and uh, you don't have a Northern Ireland accent yourself no I'm uh, from Edinburgh <laughs> Although my wife's from Northern Ireland, so... <laughs> you do have good connections yeah. oh, then? Yes, yes, she's from Belfast. Right, so uh, do you live here now? No, 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 no,
my son, he was uh, he was at university over here, so he spent about five and a half years over here. So, uh, and uh, I must say, he plays for the field marshal. <laughs> I had to put that one in. Yeah, well, <laughs> Certainly, if you're tuning in just with us today, we are live at Stormont Estate for the European Pipe Band Championships. And the arena you're looking at now is the Grade 1 arena. And we're just waiting for St. Lawrence O'Toole from Dublin, just approaching the line now and ready to begin the competition.